Good morning and welcome to the third vlog from our trip around Devon and Cornwall where today we're still here in Cornwall and visiting a park for the first time aren't Yay! we? We're here at Camel Creek Adventure Park looking forward to experiencing this for the first time. A little bit of history for you about the park. It opened back in the 1980s and it used to actually be a second Creeley Park. So this was actually Creeley Cornwall. Of course we went to Creeley Devon just a couple of days ago so check out the vlog if you've not seen it. Uh, the owners of Creeley decided to sell this park so they could invest more money and of course expand Creeley in Devon. So yeah we've come down here to Camel Creek today. The sun is kind of peeking through a little kind bit of. Um, and we've got three different roller coasters to ride here today. But here's a fascinating fact for you. This park here was actually bought in 2015 by none other than John Broom himself. Now John Broom is a name that some of you might be familiar with. He actually created the new Alton Towers as it was back in 1980. So thanks to John Broom Room, the Alton Towers is the part that it is today. He put in the corkscrew, brought lots of other rides in and then of course in the 90s he lost all his money because he went to uh, try and expand the Battersea Power Station down in London and build a theme park there. He, he was forced to sell Alton Towers because he was running out of money and then all of a sudden back in 2015 he's still going and he's bought this park. So really quite interesting. What a story. Oh, what a backstory and that's the main reason to be honest when we wanted to come here. Uh, I wonder if he lives on site. There's a house over there. I wonder if John Broom lives there. Uh, of course, the, the founder of the new Alton Tower is crazy. Um, but of course, we're going to head into the park. We paid £21 for tickets today. So, uh, out of all the parks we've done, one of the more expensive uh, parks. So it's going to be interesting to see what there is in here. In terms of the rides, I don't think there's going to be much thrilling. It's a very family orientated park. There's a lot of play equipment, um, water rides and slides, that sort of thing. No, but there is three ride. three coasters to ride. I don't know if there's any camels. Will it be called Camel Creek? Yeah, I'm expecting not. some camels. Maybe. Down by some water, down by a creek. Um, but we do know there is some an other animals here. There's a bit of a zoo here from what I'm aware of. Um, and some goats. Let's, well, let's hope there's some I think goats. on the website it does say goats. So I've had a little look. So we'll make our way in. Park hours from 10 up through until 5, 5.30. Five. Uh, but I don't think we'll be here that long. You know, it's not a, a full day park, much like the others we've done this trip. It's ideal, really, because we've been doing the parks and then heading down to the local beaches. Um, last night, we went to St. Ives, which was absolutely gorgeous. Tonight, we're going to Newquay. Um, so yeah, come and join us for the day here at Camel Creek. We'll get loads of footage. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to film on ride using the chest mounted GoPro. Don't really know at this point, because we've never been before. Um, but yeah, come and join us. Should be opening in the next few minutes. Hey, here he is. Oh, it's, it's Dino. Hello, Dino. <laughs> One of the mascots down here at Camel Creek. Oh, he's off. There we go. Pointing at the ride information. Yeah, that's what I was just looking at, actually. So, of course, you've got a list of all the different rides just here. As we can see, the only thing that's closed on there is the uh, Creaky's Playhouse down there at the top, like we can see. You're all right, don't worry. <laughs> uh, you've got a list of quite a few different rides and attractions throughout uh, what looks to be four different uh, themed areas. But there we go. There's one of the mascots here at the park. <laughs> Yeah, we're just coming through the little entrance area here. Only a small little cute entrance at this park. But here we go. Do you like the mascot? No. What's up here? Yeah. <laughs> hey, all right. I know we've got our temperatures checked now. We'll make our way in. It looks like they send us just down to the side of the uh, gift shop. Or can we go in the gift shop on the way through? Maybe. Got a little hand sanitizer station here as well. So yeah, we've got our temperatures checked. Same sort of machines what a lot of these parks are using here in the oh, UK. Oh, a lot's come out. Here we go, Charlotte. Give us your review on the hand sanitizer. It's all right. It's good. Good quality hand sanitizer. I do like the logo down here. So that's, that's the, the camel. Yeah, that's the, the mascot we've just met. Look at the camel. He looks a bit like long neck. Is that his neck? Oh, no, it's his body. He's just wearing a tropical well, shirt. This character here looks like Zork from Tova. Uh, Expedition Zork. <laughs> but yeah, of course, I like all the branding and stuff. Sun's coming out. Let's go in. I'll just put some hand sun on and we will uh, go and get on the rides. Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. Look at that. Quality good stuff. So also here today, as we can see from the clear signage, face coverings are required in the gift shop, the 5D cinema, didn't know they had a 5D cinema, so we'll check that out, and the indoor animal areas as yes. well. We like the indoor animal areas. You can also return for just £3 per person. There we go, quite a good little offer. Uh, I don't really know where we're going, to be honest. Can't see a map. Didn't, we didn't get given a map or anything at the entrance, so... Oh, we got one? Oh, I didn't realise. Oh, here we go. Open up the map, let's have a look. Let's have a little look at this map just here, see what we got. Oh no. Oh, here we go. So we're here. So the coast is... Oh, okay, so we've oh, got the coast Airbender here. just around the corner here. We've got a couple of other um, different rides around this side as well that we can see. Yeah, we'll carry on down this way. There's a chair swing just here though. There we go. I don't know if adults can ride it, but we'll, sit and we'll go on everything that we can do. First impressions, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Twin Lakes in Mountain Mowbray. 
um, closer to us at home. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Can't see a lot of action down here at the coaster, <laughs> but we've got three to get on, so we'll head down this way. Now have a look, we've got some meerkats over here as well. Meerkat magic. Here we go then. So we made it to our first roller coaster of the day. It's Airbender just here. So we're gonna be riding this one. Of course, we've got some nice ride restrictions just here. Ride alone, accompanied, no ride, sorry. Um, so yeah, it's just like a height board there, of course, that you can stand up to. That's quite a, quite tall, isn't it, that? Is that 1.4? Yeah, I was going to say it's quite tall, but here we go, we joined the Kiefer Airbender. It's like we're going to be the second train of the day. It would have been on the first, but I was just putting the chest mount on. So, as it have been on the first train of the day. Here we go, manufactured by Interpark, as we can see on the back just there. This is one of their Galaxy roller coasters, done a few of these. So here we go, we'll uh, hopefully be able to take you on board the ride. In terms of cleaning down the train, there's that look at the equipment, very similar to what they had down at Creeley actually. Um, you know, in terms of having like a little bottle and then spraying the train. So, yeah, it's only running one train out of three, this one. But I'm sure we won't have to wait too long. It's only a short cycle. Here we go. Sun's coming out for our coaster ride here at Camel Creek. Where's the camels? Right then, here we go. So we're only wait about five minutes there. And we're off on the front row. Just had a bit of a safety briefing. Everything that we take round on the track is at our own risk. Spooky. <laughs> They're just covering their own backs, I guess. Maybe they get a lot of people using handheld cameras, mobile phones. Just covering the back. Pets corner over there, we can see. I'll have to have a look in there later. Are you ready, Charlotte? <laughs> Here we go. It's actually quite a big park. Didn't realise it was going to sort of span down this way. Thought it was quite compact from looking at the map. Quite a steep drop this one. Here we go. Brace yourself. Oh, it's quite smooth. It's all right. Short break coming up here. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> oh, that sharp break in there. Not too bad though. Quite a smooth ride actually. Oh. Other than the brakes. There we go. Hands up. <laughs> there we go. First ride of the day. On ride footage there from Airbender. How was your ride? It wasn't too bad. It was quite smooth actually. Yeah, nothing too bad. I mean, there's nothing to shout about them no, roller coasters. It wasn't too bad at all. Yeah, quite a lot out there of that same style and design and layout. But to be honest, you know, in terms of how smooth it was, it was, okay, it, it was yeah. absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with that. A lot of families coming here would go on that and they'd be quite satisfied yeah, thinking good definitely. family coaster. As much as from an enthusiast point of view and somebody who travels to a lot of theme parks all the time, it's nothing special. For a park like this that hasn't really got loads of attractions, for them, that being their signature ride, quite a good family coaster, yeah, really. And like I said, we've got two other coasters. I'm hoping we're going to be able to ride this next one. It's a little Pinfari clown coaster. It's just down there behind us. So we're going to head down there now. You've got quite a few other family rides around in this area. Looks like we've got a couple of different drop towers. You can see one just coming out of Charlotte's head um, <laughs> over there. And there's one over there, like a frog hopper style one as well. So uh, we'll go on whatever we can do here today. You know, it's not a full day park for us, but we'll try and ride whatever we can do. And of course, get some POVs and see the animals. And hopefully Hopefully some camels. I'll be disappointed if there's no camels at Camel Creek. Here we go. So the kicker wheels have kicked in. Um, we're on the cloud coaster straight through the drum. Whoa! <laughs> oh yeah, crowd's a crowd. We're getting a plus three today. As long as we get the third one in. Don't know where it is. We haven't seen it, heard it. I think it's over in that direction. Look at them slides there. We've got to go on them. Vertigo, we'll go on that as well. It looks the same as... Yeah, there's, there's quite a bit actually. Woo! How many laps are we getting? Yeah. The classic clown coaster. Are we getting some more? Hey! There's Charlotte. Oh, thrilling. <laughs> the things we do for these credits. Crad to crad, it's a private train hire as well. 
the, the only ones on. What's this lot? Lot number four now. I thought it was four. I lost count. This opened in 2019, so only last year. Oh, there we go. Kicker wheels off on the clown coaster. Opened the same year as Airbender. That was 2019 as well. There you go, the clown coaster. Right then, so we just come off the clown roller coaster, and like I say, we spotted these super slides just here. There's Charlotte. She's got a mat. She's going up the tower on the swampy super slide. And what's quite interesting, can't say I've ever seen a slide like this before. It's got a big runoff at the top. So I'm kind of hoping that Charlotte's going to come flying down this. At least we're not going to have a moment like on the trip uh, when we was at uh, Dreevleet. And of course, Charlotte came down and she fell off the slide. So check out the vlog if you've not seen it. On the, on the far side. Here we go, she's coming down. <laughs> You're echoing quite a bit. Yeah, you've got to watch your head on this one. Here she, here she comes, Swampy Super Slide, here at Camel Creek. I can hear her. Hey! Oh, you know what? I think, oh, <laughs> how was it? Good. I think, shall I have a go? Yeah. I'll have a go and we'll, uh, I'll take you on with the GoPro this time. Oh, watch oh. yourself. <laughs> oh, it's a bit tight in here, isn't it? Not much space. Here we go. I mean, there was no uh, age restrictions on there, so we'll give it a ride. Oh, you can see out there as well. So we got that one there. I'm not going to do the same one as Charlotte. I'm going to give this one a go just here. Here we go. Put the uh, mount back on. Just going to try and get in it somehow. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh my God, it's fast. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. And there we go. Right then, so after the fun little slide just there, we're going on Vertigo now. Like I said, with this one, it's the same actually as Cranky Crane, which is a little drop tower that they've got at Drayton Manor in Thomasland. So yeah, let's go around this way and uh, take you on board this one. Nice little flag on the top as well. Everybody ready? Yeah, here we go. Of course, manufactured by Zamperla. Looks like some good water rides just over there through the trees, actually. So we'll head to those shortly. Oh, forceful. Yeah, <laughs> no, very tame. Yeah, I can see a log flume just over there as well. So we'll check that out. Some dinghy slides. Look like they're built just on the side of the hills. That looks interesting. Instead of having like the uh, structure up there for it. They're actually just coming off the side of a hill. So we're going to check those out next. Hey, quite a lot of green space here at this part. Reminds me of Oakwood a little bit too. And talking of Oakwood, I just got some sad news. That little uh, clown coaster that we just went on with the circus theme, I've already got the credit because it is actually the one from Oakwood. I didn't realize until I had a look on the good old roller coaster database. But Charlotte got a credit because yeah. <laughs> she hasn't been on it before. In terms of social distancing on here, just leaving a seat in between parties. Quite forceful, isn't it? You're enjoying it? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's quite tame. Oh. How was your ride there then on Vertigo? Yeah, it was really good. It was really long cycle, actually. Yeah, it was quite a long cycle. Yeah. Definitely a longer cycle than the Cranky Crane Drop yeah. Tower. Probably because it's not built inside one of the busiest family areas in the UK, yeah, Thomas Land. Um, but yeah, not a bad little ride on there. I tell you what though, they're doing a good job in terms of uh, sanitizing the rides. Like yeah. the guy on there took about five minutes. He sprayed them and then went round and wiped, wiped it as well. Down, so fair play. You mean some of these smaller parks? I wasn't expecting the social distancing measures and uh, because of COVID-19 to be as good as some of the bigger parks. But, but to be good. honest, I'd say it's even better. Yeah, they're definitely. doing it after every cycle. Some of the bigger parks, it's only every half an hour. So really quite impressed with what we've seen with a lot of these parks um, anyway up next we're going on that amazing flat ride you can see just behind us look at that that's like wow. a wind turbine I'm not like, going on that. We, we sit on the edge of a wind turbine and it simulates it or oh, 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 oh maybe charlotte it's, it's actually a wind it's turbine it's just a wind turbine oh good i would love to go on that but can you imagine a flat ride where you get strapped onto the edge oh. of a wind turbine be a bit intense for you wouldn't it but charlotte instead i'll take you on the raging river yes we're going on the raging river so we've got two of these probably give them both a go um, it's a long walk though kind of go up this massive hill just, just here start my walk. yeah i'm gonna start the walk up this hill so oh somebody coming down there's no member of staff at the bottom so i think you just pick up your own boats and put it onto the conveyor but to be honest this looks really good fun oh you go quite far on the runoff down there as well so yeah we'll I'll give both of these a go why not we, you know we don't know when we'll next come back here but it's nice to come and see new parks for the first time 
in terms of the size of the park it's actually a bit bigger than what i was expecting and in terms of the amount of attractions here kind of what i was expecting really with that but i think there's a pirate ship just around here as well uh, the viking warrior so we'll give that a go after the raging river let's go yeah here we go so i'm on this one Schultz on the other side i'm about to go down the side of a hill oh she's off see you later <laughs> it's a straight run down this one whoa oh it's fast whoa. Whoa. oh it's quite quick not very wet not very wet but are you, are you wet <laughs> swap over now here we go so charlotte's warm with some big puddles on this one and i can see him down here oh god ah. oh. <laughs> Air time! Oh, I got wear on that one. Oi, there she is. <laughs> Sliding in. The Raging River was quite good there. I definitely preferred the first one that I went on. Charlotte said the same as well. That one was definitely better. Uh, anyway, walk back up the hill for a third time. So anyway, it's a massive hill to walk up here. Uh, and we've got the Viking Warrior, the pirate ship just over here. So I'll take you guys on. Of course, if you haven't guessed already, Charlotte's not coming on. Not just because of walking up the hill. She's not a big fan of pirate ships, even though it's quite a small one. Uh, it doesn't swing you very high. Similar sort of size to Mr. Monkey's Banana Boat down at Thorpe Park by the looks of it. But I'll take you on. It's got some nice themed entrances here at Camel Creek. Show you that if we spin you around. There you go, so there's the entrance to the Viking Warrior. And we see the pirate ship just there, so I'll take you on with the GoPro. Just to show you the social distancing markers as well. Very nice and clear here with the yellow lines all the way across. Knowing the lawns over there as well. Lots of green space here at this park. And here we go, let's go on. Here we go then on the pirate ship. Still quite a nice warm day today. Like it gave out some storms, but getting right, it might not look very warm, but it is. It's about 20 degrees Celsius today. Whee. Here on the pirate ship. Can't see Charlotte, she's down the bottom of that hill. <laughs> it's in quite a nice location, this park. I tell you what though, can't get any phone signal at all around here. We're literally out there in the wilderness in the middle of all these trees. Very nice location though. You yeah, know, there's no major standout rides really at this park, but it'd be really nice for them to get something in the future. There was rumours of them getting a new build for Coma Suspended Coaster, um, so that'd be really good. We'll have to see what happens in the future. The fact that John Broom is, I believe, to still be in charge and still own the park, be interesting to see what happens going forwards. Oh, sun's peeking out now, lovely. Yeah, not too much of a high swinger on this one. We're leaving a row in between parties, of course, because of social distancing. I think the measures are really good here. I tell you what, I like this blue fence here as well with the waves on it. Just little touches like that that I really like. They didn't have to do that, but they did. And there we go. One minute, 27 seconds. Let's have another water ride. Here we go. Charlotte loves these, don't you? So I've just come off the pirate ship. Not too bad, just a small little family pirate ship. But we've got a log flume now. Soaked on these. You reckon? Well, it's a log flume, so you might get wet. I don't know. We don't know what it's called because it's got no entrance sign. It's got four poles out the front. So that's what we call it, the four poles log flume. And there we go. It's got one of the boats just out here. It's a nice flower bed. What's this say? We kindly ask you do not litter or stand in our flower beds. Thank you. No problem, but here we go. Let's go and join the queue for Four Poles Log Flume. <laughs> we'll actually get the map out and find out what the name is after we come off. Oh, oh she's got it now. We'll find out what it's called because it's got no signage at all. But it has got social distancing markers. It's like we're going into the shed. It's like the world of theme parks, this is. There we go. Thunderfall. It's called what? Thunderfall. Thunderfalls. Here we go. Let's hope there is no thunder today. No queue, straight on. Camels. Here we go then, Thunder Falls walk straight on. Nice permanent installation though, not a travelling flume, which is good to see. And this also wins the award for comfiest boats ever. Look at all this padding. Uh, there's padding at the front, there's padding there, padding down all the middle, really comfy. Charlotte has come on by the way, she's just behind me. I can't spin you around at the moment because I'm holding on. <laughs> I'm holding on for dear life here so I don't slide back. All that uh, renewable energy over there. 
One of the, the uh, rides here are, of course, powered by all the solar panels we can see. Oh, it's a bit slow. There's Charlotte, we can see her now. She's there behind me. So we got a little double drop coming up. They are. These double drops can sometimes be worse than the big ones. We've got a bit of a leak just over there. Not as bad as the leak at Creeley though. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, Camel Creek. That's it. I'm all right. Just a light sprinkle. A light sprinkle. How are we behind? Wet. Are we all good? <laughs> she, <laughs> she loves it. We know that you viewers love watching Charlotte on these. I'm going to have to put you down a sec. Like, I need to hold on. Else I'm going to slide back. Oh. Well, I don't know if I'm allowed to slide back to you or not. He told us both to sit forward, but that's it. Charlotte's giving me some back support. Oh my God. I can't do it anymore. I'm going to have to come back, Charlotte. I'm coming back. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. That's better. That's it, we're at the top. Who's going to do me back in, that was. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, look at it round there. We're yeah. approaching it. How's that making you feel? Yeah. Oh, we're approaching it here at Camel Creek. Can't see no camels yet, though, unless they're hiding out there. Oh. Right, <laughs> might be in the trees. Oh, no, we're on the precipice. This is it. Oh, no. Woo! Oh, oh, oh my god! Uh, to be honest, not too bad. Quite dry, nice and comfy. All this padding. Nice blue shed, world of theme parks. And there we go. on ride POV there from the log flume four poles here at Camel Creek or I can't remember the real name but we went on it uh, how was it yeah, it wasn't too bad it was okay we had a nice double drop there we and did. then the main drop didn't get too wet on either of them actually no, we didn't. just a light sprinkle not too bad but I like how it's another permanent log flume and not a, a traveling one yeah. you kind of expect a traveling log flume at somewhere like this but no it's a permanent installation and they've used the hillside to its advantage as well just there on the side Right, time for it. What is definitely a new credit now. Not got this one before, and I'm looking forward to this. I'm not too sure how I pronounce the name. I'll show you the sign in a moment, but I think it's more girls or something more like that. Girl. But it's based on some sort of sea monster that's famous down here in Cornwall. So there you go. That's the story behind this one. The ride itself, quite an old coaster, but it was refurbished in 2010 um, and brought here to the park uh, by, and had new trains built by Garmendale Engineering. So they've done quite a bit, Garmendale. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this. We've just actually seen it in action. Ooh. It's a powered coaster. And to be honest, it looks like it's quite intense. It's got a little airtime hill. So I'll put a little bit of off-ride footage in now. We'll get in the queue and then we'll take you on with the POV. Looking forward to trying this one. Looks quite intense for a family coaster. There he is, the little monster on the hype board just here. And there's the name of the coaster. So yeah, I don't know how we pronounce that. It's not very often I struggle in this country to pronounce names of rides, but there you go. More grow roller coaster? I don't know, but it's some sort of monster. So we'll head inside. It's got the name of the coaster on the roof just there as well. It's quite interesting. And then around this corner, we've got some animals, don't we? So we'll have a look around the animals. Of course, still got quite a few more rides to go on as well. Just seen a unique little uh, flat ride around yeah, there. It's funny, wasn't Looks it? quite funny where we're just going to sit and cook in like a pot. Uh, but oh, here we go. And it's going again. So yeah, we'll uh, get on. The queue is literally just these two people in front of us. So we should be on shortly. Here we go, we get ready for the launch. It's coming. Yeah. Got quite a kick to it, this. Oh! No lift hill required, straight round. In terms of social distancing, just two parties per train, it seems. So we're at the back there at the front. You can tell they've replaced some bits of track. Like I say, it was refurbished by Garmendale. They built uh, GoJetters, Rooms to Zoom ride at Alton yeah. Towers. Whoa! 
Right, good. I'm looking forward to this little airtime hill in a minute. You can see it just down there. Just after this helix, helix, helix. Here we go. Airtime coming up. Hey, that was quite good. Bit, bit of flow time. Oh, guys, wild. It's a bit like a Mack Rides power coaster. A bit like flying fish or something. See if we've got an evac platform here in case it stalls. There you go. Oh, hey! Not a bad little coaster. The airtime hill's definitely the highlight of this one. And we're about to get it again. Don't know if we're going to get it as fast though. Oh, that was good. I, I like. I think that was the best of the three coasters here. Oh, are we making it? I say that we'd stalled then. Thought we we're going to get an evac at Camel Creek. Well, there we go. We've, oh, have we made it? Oh yeah, just about. That's it, and we're in. That was good. Don't know how I pronounce it, but it was good. Right there, so we just come off the powered coaster, refurbished by Garmendale Engineering. And yeah, it's called Morgar, apparently. So I don't know how I tried to pronounce it, but uh, yeah, there you go. Morgar is the official name of that ride. Did you enjoy it or not? Yeah, it was good. I thought it was the best coaster here out of the quite three, fast. to be honest. Yeah, a little yes. bit different, quite fast. And the little airtime here, a little camelback. Hey, Camel Creek, Camelback, you get it? Camel we might have seen. I know, yeah, well, you want to feed the emus, because you can. You can feed the emus here at Camel Creek, but I'm on the lookout for camels, because I love camels. My favourite camel I've ever met was called Clarissa uh, and I went on top of her actually over in Dubai a few years ago So I'm gonna try and find some camels. If there's no camels, I'll be disappointed But we've got these emus just over here and we've got a few other different animals So we're gonna carry on walking around this little zoo section they've got here Oh, we've got these little fellas just over here sitting there chilling out How you doing? You're on Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. How do you feel? Hello? Absolutely nothing. But they're chilling out Nice and quiet though around here for him, isn't it? No music, no nothing. Just, oh, he's off. He's going. Where are you going? There's no food over there, mate. Just some more grass for you. You eat grass all day. There we go. <laughs> no, well, we saw a sign with a goat on. I'll tell you what, though, you can ride a pony if you want to around here. They've got them little pony rides, little tracked pony rides. So we'll go on that. Love those. But yeah, I can't really see any, any goat action. We'll have to find out. Oh, you found There we go. They're down here. There we go. You. Where? Oh, that's not very nice, is it? It's a pig. <laughs> is he all right? Hello. Is he, is he alive? Oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh. oh hello. Hello. You all right there? I didn't know if you were, uh, you were all right there, mate. Huh? You okay? Can you tell me where I can find John Broom? He's that way. Is that way? John Broom, he's that way. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's that way. Okay. Oh, Charlotte's happy. We've found the goats. But these are big goats and they look quite aggressive. I've just touched him and he was like, mm. Oh, so he didn't I, like I'm it. Not He's got like a little collar on, hasn't he? Oh, look at them horns, though. Fantastic. Like Wicker Man. Look at those really nice horns. <laughs> yeah. Small. A little like pygmy goats and stuff. Oh, yeah. you're getting good. I am getting good. Maybe they have got some. I don't know. Why have they got a dog collar on? Not too, he looks like he wants a good stroke. I he stroked looks, him and he didn't like it. Let me try and stroke him. I think he seems. Oh, let's give you a stroke, man. Whoa, no, he doesn't oh like it. Yeah, that is vicious. He went, Charlotte, he went for me then. Oh he went for me. What about that one? I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Just say, please be aware, I may bite. What we got inside here? We got some other little animals in here. Please pop on your face covering. These are where the pygmy goats. I don't like oh, it. I didn't. I didn't. I mean, I'm a bit off then. That was it. Nearly it. Here we go. Nice clear signage. See what we got in here. Oh, God, it stinks. It's the stables. Oh, not a lot really to see inside the stables, to be honest. But uh, yeah, we'll come down here now and have a little ride on these horses just here. Love these. Absolutely love them. One of my all-time favourites. These. So we'll go around this way. We'll have a little go on here. Again, I'm not too sure on the exact name of it. But we'll find out when we come around this corner, I imagine. Exit only, entrance just here. Express. The Pony Express, here we go. Let's go on the Pony Express. Oh, first bit of music I've heard. Oh, hey, off she goes on the Pony Express. There she goes. Oh, you're getting comfy on there, Charlotte. <laughs> All right, my, here's my horse just here now. Let's go. Got my pony. Here we go then. There's Charlotte over there. Hey. 
it's quite nice and warm actually now. Oh, there's the goats over there. I tried to bite my hand off. They were vicious goats. I've just been speaking to the operator on here and he says they're the only goats that there is, so I'll have to see. Making our way around here on the horses. No theming or anything on this one, but I do quite like these little rides. I love one of these in my garden. Oh, we're gonna get a bit of interaction with Charlotte when we go around this corner. The good thing is they bob up and down and they do make noises. I don't think mine's doing it, but normally make a little uh, horse neigh as you go around. Is yours making noises, Charlotte? No, oh, mine isn't. I think it's broke. Yeah, hey, <laughs> there she is. Watch out for them goats. <laughs> really aggressive little goats. Tell you what though, it's always nice to come to a park for the first time, big or small, no matter what rides they've got, just to discover somewhere different and of course share it with you guys. Down this end of the country, um, it's something that we haven't really covered loads on Theme Park Worldwide at all, so it's great to finally get down here, visit some more attractions, uh, and there's a few that we'd still like to come and do at some point in the future, so I'm sure um, that we will do, but yeah, it's always nice just to come and discover, oh yeah, Charlotte, <laughs> always just come and discover a park for the first time and come and see it all. And yeah, we've got the three coasters, plus two credits today thought it was going to be three but didn't do me research that clown coaster has come from oakwood in wales that got removed and they put a dizzy disc on there a disco what they put in for last year so that was the replacement um, for the clown coaster and they moved a little bit of stuff around in that area um, of oakwood but we'll be back at oakwood soon actually we're going to be heading down there me and charlotte at the end of the month so make sure you stay tuned for those vlogs here on theme park worldwide and we're going to continue around we've only actually been in the park for less than an hour and a half and we've nearly done all of the major rides there's still a few more little bits that we're going to do of course and we'll share them with you guys we never intended on it being a full day here we thought we wanted to come down here get the stuff done and of course then make our way down to the beach and go and enjoy Nuki uh, no I'm not going surfing but I wish I was uh, probably going crab picking or something but uh, yeah we'll carry on around this way um, try and get some food as well really try and get a little snack just to put me on for a nice fish and chips down on the beach tonight It'd be lovely that wouldn't it Right then, so we just had a little bit of food, just some chips just to put us on, because we're going to be having some proper food down in Newquay, aren't we? Yeah. But we'll just have a little snack just to put us on. I just thought I'd show you, because behind Charlotte here, we've got this massive indoor play area. Of course, it is closed at the moment, but due to COVID-19, and it is causing a few kids to start crying. Yeah. They're getting a bit upset, because of course, there's a food outlet in here. I would be, to be honest. <laughs> I think I would be. And I saw that, and I couldn't go on, I'd be gutted. I know, yeah, imagine just sitting here having your lunch, and then seeing that massive play area. I mean, they've got loads of slides over there. Uh, it's Creaky's Playhouse. Look at that, it looks brilliant, fantastic. Charlotte's got a big tango there. What have you got on your arm? You got a bit of food or something on your arm just here. Uh, I don't know what that is. But uh, yeah, I got my tango. That was a pound, that was, from Tesco. Like, not available at the park. The Tesco's not here at Camel Creek. And also, just thought we'd show you the map and sort of show you a little bit what we've got left. Not too much, really. Um, but we're going to sort of head down um, in this middle area. There's a, that's the number 23 there. That's the unique little flat ride that we've seen. So we'll definitely give that a go. Uh, and that's the Dizzy Dina. We'll go on there. Charlotte will probably go on that little frog hopper style ride. Um, a couple of other little bits down there that we'll check out as well. Probably go on this chair swing. That's just out here. I mean, we're down in Creaky's Playhouse here at the moment. Probably go on this chair swing just out here. Again, if uh, we're allowed to ride it. And then really, we've seen everything at this park. Just notice down here as well, Flume Lagoon coming soon. So that looks like it's going to be right near the powered coaster. Um, kind of near where the goats are, really. So yeah, there's going to be a new flume ride coming in there. It seems like some sort of dinghy slide, possibly. Or maybe a mini water park or something. I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's going to be coming in. But yeah, as expected, really. I'd say the park's a little bit bigger than what I thought um, in terms of the layout. But in terms of the ride, it's exactly what I was expecting, really very much a family park um, certainly somewhere for us where it's a half a day park but if you've got kids if you've got a family it's certainly a full day uh, out down here don't know who this is down here but I quite like him the mascot of the park looks a bit cheeky doesn't he I know a bit of a cheeky chops but yeah we'll head out we'll get the mask back on and we'll go and have a uh, few more rides this afternoon here at Camel Creek Adventure Park Right then, so we're off on the wave rider now. Saw a little bit of off-ride footage of it just. And here we go, in terms of social distancing, just a nice bit of tape blocking off some of the seats that aren't in use. Got the reptile house to go in down there as well, so we'll have a look. Go and see those cheeky meerkats. Yeah, that's quite a nice themed building there, like a castle. Looks a bit like the old entrance to Camelot theme park. 
There's Charlotte over there. Not quite as intense as the ones at Flambards yesterday. If you haven't done us up ready, check out our vlog from Flambards Theme Park. Had a great day down there. There was an amazing indoor walkthrough that was brilliant. I'm really getting whacked by this chair. Look how close it's getting. Yeah. <laughs> Whee, really close. Woo. You're right there, Charlotte. She's all good. She's looking out for John Broom, I think, up there. <laughs> I've asked a few of the staff if they know of John Broom because I'm really interested in where he was between 1990 and 2015. Like the fact that he's still going and owns this farm. Very interesting. Love to meet him. If you're watching this video, John, I'll come down and meet you next time. <laughs> Not too bad actually for a small one of these, it's family sized. We're going Crocodile Corner next. Sad news is, I don't think there's any camels at Camel Creek. I was really expecting some camels here today. I was excited, the name got me hyped up with some camels and there isn't any. But it's a nice sunny afternoon. We're having a great day, a few more rides to go on. A couple of little walkthroughs and then we'll wrap up the vlog. Nice little visit to this family park. Woo! Nice on ride POV there from quite a long cycle on the Wave Rider. Quite enjoyed that. And then we'll head inside Crocodile Corner now. The Reptile House. So let's have a little walk inside. Get some nice hand sanitizer on there. Lovely. Let's go in. Here we go, we've got a door here. What's it? What? We've got to Thank please you. use the foot. What? Please use your foot to pull the door. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is that safe enough to touch it? Why don't they just leave it open? I don't know. There we go. Oh, it's hot because of all the tropical animals that we're going to see. Social distancing, nice big signs. Help stop the spread of COVID-19. Stay apart. Will do. There he is, our first little creature that we can see in here. There he's in the leaves there. He's coming down here. There we go. You can see his face. Oh, hello. It's a chameleon. There we go. It's nice. Come, 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 we come and go, we come and go. <laughs> come a chameleon, we come and go. <laughs> Love it. Really nice. Carry on around this way. We've got a leopard gecko, is that how we say it? Don't have a clue. Can't see it. Oh, he's down there. There he is. Oh, well, one of my all-time favourites, the pink tongue skink, just in here, wherever he is. Can we see the skink? He's a nice little snake somewhere. Can we see him? Oh. <laughs> oh. Can't see him. You gotta look for him, they might be hiding. Who are we looking at here? Oh, he's nice. What have we got here? We got the changeable Ag Agmar. Climbing up. Got the tortoise, have we over here? I can't see him. Oh no, I can't. Oh, we might see him when we go around that corner, maybe. It's a crocodile. Here we got a crocodile somewhere. I can't see him. Oh, he's over there, he's just poking his head out. There he is. How are you doing? You're on theme park all wide. How do you feel? Nothing. These animals don't like talking to me, do they? And the goats like attacking me, didn't they? My hand bit off by one of them goats. We've got the yellow anaconda somewhere inside here. Where is he? Oh, there's the... Yeah, he doesn't look very yellow to me, to be honest, but there he is, the yellow anaconda. Chinese water dragon. I can't see him either, can you? Oh, he's here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there he is. So this is spe he's, he's what? <laughs> We've got a spe spectacle, is that how you say it? Spectacle. Should know that really, wearing glasses, shouldn't I? Spectacle Cayman. Crocodilius. There he is. Dun 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 Chomp chomp. Look at his big eyes. Oh, he's watching you, Charlotte. He's watching you. <laughs> right, he's scary, he is. You know who he's looking for, don't you? 
You really know who he's looking for. He's looking for John Broom. <laughs> he's looking for John Broom. I am as well. Where's he been for 20 years? Do you know? No, he doesn't know either. Oh, I've got the news. You're joking. Is this a new thing, is it? Because of social distancing? I'm not too sure. Well, there you go. I thought we might have seen some spiders in there, really. You normally have some spiders in a reptile house, don't you? But there you go. The reptile house at Camel Creek. Some instant foam. I will put instant foam. Watch the review from the instant foam. It's good. Foamy. You like it? Very foamy. There we go. Time for a bit of meerkat magic then now here at Camel Creek. Love some meerkats. Looks like quite a new exhibit actually what they've got here. Here they are. Hello. I love it when they stand up like that. <laughs> Simples. How you doing? Oh, I, look, I like these. Oh, for a run round. Oh, oh, they're coming down here now. Wait, hello. Here they are. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, they're off. They're playing games. Oh, no, the back. Hello. Hey. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hiya. Oh, hiya. Hello. How are you doing? You're, yeah, you're on YouTube. Oh, these are loving the attention, these. Yes, you are. You're on YouTube. And you. And you. Oh, these are great. I love it. Oh, they look really happy, don't they? There we go. Oh, turn around this way again. Hello. <laughs> These are like the happiest meerkats I've ever seen. Oh, they're off. Oh, aren't they lovely? Yeah, they're, they're, really, they're really nice, they are. Oh, I like them. Got the aviary just around here as well. I don't think it's an area to walk through. I think they're just literally a little glass exhibit for us to see. Oh, they're lovely, they are. It looks brand new, this does. I mean, you can tell the tree's only just been planted as well there. It's got some rocks just to help support it. A little aviary. Plenty of expansion room over here as well, as we can see. Don't think they'd struggle for expansion room here at this part. Loads of true like space with trees and uh, fields all the way around. There's the birds over at the back there. Just about see them. Right, we're gonna head down do a couple more rides now. Got that uh, small little flat ride to go on and we'll have a little look around there. But warning, I may peck. Peck, peck, peck. <laughs> Let's go down this way. Whoa. So I think things are about to get exciting, aren't they, Charlotte? Yeah. What have we found? Goats. Goats, it says Pets Corner. And then just down here. Baby there's a picture of a nice little goat on there as well. Is that a little lamb there is, some little chickens? Here we go, leaf cutter ants as well. One of my favourites, love those. Here we go, there's a goat on there. And what are the inside here maybe? Entrance only, pets corner. We've got a one-way system in place. Oh, they've got to be down here. Yeah, so a lot, oh, here we go. You'd think they'd be outside on a nice hot day. Some little birds in here. And they are, oh, they're all flying away. Here we go, this does not look like goats to me. There's a picture of a goat, but I can't see any goat. Oh, there's a rabbit. Little bunny rabbit down there. Look a bit grumpy. Grumpy rabbit, wants to be outside, don't you, on a nice hot day like today? There must be in that bottom bit down there, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, he's munching on some straw. Got a nice cardboard box over there as well. Maybe that's the delivery of some wheels for the new coaster. <laughs> but yeah, like I say, there is rumours of them getting some sort of suspended coaster. And Charlotte's actually just found something quite interesting. Tell the viewers what you found on the map. So on the logo, it's got a coaster on the side. Yeah, with a purple track, which is quite interesting. So who knows, it was supposed to be opening this year, but let's see what happens going forward. If it does open, we'll definitely come back. This should just be called Rabbit Corner. Yeah, it? to be honest, I don't think there's... Oh, look at him in there. Wow. You can't know goats though, Charlotte. I don't know why it's a picture of some goats. There's a picture of a goat outside, but he's talking about a lizard. I really like him. What are them two doing there? Behave, you two. Oh, wow. He's amazing. What, what is it? An ig iguana. Iguana. What a beautiful one. Oh, I like him. Look at his skin. He's smiling. He loves the attention. Oh. He re he's really nice. Look at his scales there. Oh, oh, wow, he's vicious. You're nice, you are, aren't you? Oh, I like him. Oh, he's got a bit of information. Oh, he's diet. Oh, he likes sort of grapes on there, he likes bananas. 
Temperature 26 to 32 degrees. Well, you'll be all right today then. No goats though, Charlotte. No goats. Bit of a shame, isn't it? Yeah, it says on the nice picture with some goats outside. Not too much queue over there for the airbender. So I'll have a little ride on there again later. Just before we head off. But yeah, no goats to be seen, unfortunately. Right, let's head around this way. Got a couple of flat rides to go on. We've also got uh, Mission Sim Possible, a 5D motion simulator experience. So we'll check that out, actually. I think we'll do that now. Ooh. So Mission Sim Possible over here is branded as Cornwall's only 5D cinema experience. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, not really much of a queue outside here, so I imagine we just walk straight in. I don't know what it's themed to, don't know what happens normally with these, and uh, there's not much point in getting any footage, but we'll see what happens. But here we go, it's the Arctic Wong, an extreme pole expedition. So as we can see here on the poster, so we'll head in around this way, and we're gonna try out the 5D cinema ride. Looking forward to this, to see what it's like. Who really knows? Of course, face coverings are a must, especially when you're inside. So we'll head down this way, give it a go. Probably won't be much point in filming this one with it being a 5D experience, but we'll see what happens. Here we go then. So we're getting into our pods. We've waited about 20 minutes for this one. So we're sitting in one of these pods just here. Look at these. On some workings underneath here, some motors. So let's see what we get. Looks like we're going to get wet looking at the floor. Oh no. <laughs> it's quite interesting. Yeah, it's just two families at a time. So we've had to wait a little bit for this one. But here we go. There we go. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, it tilts quite a bit. Cannons there, building to the side. Hey! <laughs> oh, <laughs> poor penguin. So we waited about 20 minutes there for the 5D experience, and I'd say that was worth the wait, actually. Yeah, it was okay. Definitely worth going to see. Of course, due to social distancing, they only allowed two groups in there at a time to go into the pods. But if you want to, you can also experience it just as like a normal 4D cinema and sit at the back um, without the moving seats. But actually, sitting in the pods was quite good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, you said that the film was similar, or maybe the same. I think it's similar to Wildlands. Yeah, so Wildlands Adventures Zoo in the Netherlands. I remember it a little bit. Um, they've got a simulator ride. I'm not too sure if it's still open there actually or not from what I was reading online but um, when we went there was a simulator and yeah it might have been a, the, the same film yeah. you never know I mean some of these companies they make the films and sell them to right, quite a few parks um, but yeah I thought it was all right that music and stuff could have been a bit louder but there was no water effects um, like Charlotte said it must have been from when they were spraying yeah, down the seats uh, and cleaning up but really we've just got a couple of little rides to go on now just down in this area you've got like this spinning pots ride uh, along with that as well you've got like a little frog hopper style ride as well so we'll do those whilst we're down here and that'll be pretty much it. I mean, I'm going to do a couple more re-rides. I'll do the uh, powered coaster again, and also I'll uh, do Airbender again as well and give that a go. But um, yeah, overall, it's been a good day today. I've enjoyed it. Nice to get down here. It's only a half-day park for adults, of course, um, but it's nice to come down here and see somewhere different and share it with all of you guys. Let's go on this. It looks a bit weird, this one. Hey, here she is, Dizzy Dina. Let's go on this. It looks a bit weird. It's like these lift up and then it spins. So yeah, we're going to give this a go. Bit of a unique flat ride. Then we've got this just over here as well to go on. There's a kids' teacups ride over there as well. A few other little bits. You've got this also little junior log flume that we can see over here as well. I don't think that adults can go on it. I would have liked to have gone on it though. <laughs> I would love to go on this one. It's a little log flume over here. Look at this. I loved that when I was a kid. <laughs> you got a little chocolate factory over there as well. It's not a ride, I don't think. That's just like a little restaurant. And you've got them little uh, buildings. They're quite cute, aren't they, just over there? Little houses just around the back of the teacups. Overall, it's quite a nice little park. Hope that it can expand in the next few years. All right, let's go on Dizzy Dina.
Oh, there's Dina, there we go. Oh, we're not lifting up. We're not lifting up. Oh dear, <laughs> is there too much weight in ours? Oh, we're going oh, no. oh, there we go, we're getting a little push up. There we go, we're going. And Dizzy Dina, that's it, we're off. Had a little push up then, didn't we? <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. She literally Lift just yourself. came out. Oh, there we go, hey. Oh my God, yeah. It's <laughs> a bit of a funny one, isn't it? Hey, I love it. Oh yeah, I think as is struggling. We're normally supposed to lift up again. Oh no, we're off. That's it. You know, it's a bit like Circus Bounce in Nickelodeon land. It is, it is one of those, but we're just sitting in a big cooking pot. Come on, Dina, you're doing a good job. Lift us up, that's it. Oi! in barrels, everybody. <laughs> oh, hey, they're loving it over there as well. Can hear them. That's it. We made it just about. We needed a bit of a push, but we soon got going. Come on, Dina, lift us up again. Here we go. Oi! <laughs> it's quite good fun, this one. Best flat ride on the park. Not like there's that many to choose from, but there you go. Not too bad. <laughs> We're going to get some more from Dina. Yeah, lift us up again. Can't see her face, but we can see her mouth just here. That's it. Oh, that's it. Dina, lower us down. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was good fun. Right then, so we just had a nice little ride there. That was quite good fun, wasn't it? A little bit, yes. bit different that was, wasn't it, to go on there? Uh, you're not going to do the little frog opera, I had a bit of a cue, yeah. so you're going to give it a miss. But at least we got the other little drops out in for you earlier. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, you like that one. Anyway, we're just going to do these couple of coasters again before we head up to the exit. We'll show you inside the gift shop up there as well. And uh, we'll wrap up today's vlog here from Camel Creek Adventure Park. But yeah, I thought we've got to do these coasters again, especially this one. It's quite unique, isn't it? I'd say this is the best coaster here. I think it's really good fun. Nice little family coaster. So yeah, we'll go on here again, see you when we come off. And uh, yeah, we'll wrap up today's vlog. Done a couple more re-rides then to end our visit here to Camel Creek Adventure Park. So we'll have a look inside the gift shop now. Yay! Charlotte loves the gift shop. Looks like quite a new wooden building there. So we'll have a look inside, see what merch there is, and then wrap up the vlog. Right then, here we are inside the gift shop. Here at Camel Creek. Just thought I'd show you the uh, mascots just here. Look at these, you've got the small ones down here and the large ones down at the back there as well. And you've got this dinosaur who's eating a little inflatable. <laughs> but yeah, I do like how they've got the mascots. I think more parks in the UK really need the mascots, to be honest, because they make a lot of money. And of course, knowing that John Broom has got a big part in this park now, um, of course, he introduced Henry Hound to Bolton Towers. So, you know, of course, there was going to be a mascot here. But yeah, it does look very similar to uh, Zork, though, from Toverland. <laughs> Go around the corner here, you got a lot of uh, that TY, teddies and all sorts of stuff. You got a Disney section over there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Peppa Pig as well. Quite a nice shop though actually, nice wooden building. Very nice. See anything that takes your fancy? An ice cream maybe. An ice cream? Whoa, well we're off down to Nuki now, down on the beach. So we're going to go down there, looking forward to it. A lot of just generic stuff here as well. These are nice for the kids. Yeah, what we got? Oh yeah. Well, that's really nice. How much are those? They are... Oh. $8.99 for the dinner set. There we go, you've got the little bamboo mugs, $4.99. Oh yeah, not too bad. I really like the branding here. There's Dina just there as well, Dina the dinosaur. Is she a dinosaur? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> got all pens and other bits of stuff here as well. But yeah, the mascots are really good. Like, it's nice how they sound the big ones as well. Really do like that. Some more generic stuff. Here we go, you can buy a selfie stick if you come in over here. Get yourself a selfie stick. Not very often you see theme parks selling and they're normally banning them, um, not selling them. Little key rings down here as well. They're quite nice. One ninety nine. Yeah, they're not extortionate prices for merch either. Then you've got some Cornwall merchandise here as well. What's it, are these some beers I think you've got here? Yeah, they're Cider, there you go. These seem really popular down in Cornwall. Yeah, we've seen them in a few places, haven't yeah, they we? they seem really popular. Yeah, three for ten pound on those. And of course you've got quite a big sweet selection over here as well. But we'll make our way outside, wrap up today's visit. 
So our visit here to Camel Creek Adventure Park has come to an end. Our first ever time coming to this park. And of course, it's always nice to come and discover somewhere new and share it with all of you guys, the viewers of Theme Park Worldwide. Yeah. Have you enjoyed your day? Yeah, it's been nice, but it's not somewhere that I'd come back to in a hurry. No, it's certainly a family offering here. You know, it's, there's it's no nice. thrill rides. It's designed for families to come here. And I think in terms of a family market, they've got quite a few yeah, have, good yeah. rides. The log flume I thought was really good. The three different coasters that the they've slides. got. Uh, the slides, the play equipment. There's really quite a lot here yeah. for families to come and enjoy. Um, you know, and I think that it's a fair price really for what they've got on offer. The uh, 5D cinema was quite good what we did yeah, as well. that was good. Uh, that was enjoyable. The staff have been pretty friendly here as well. I'm um, not too keen on the animal areas. I think they could yeah. maybe either do away with that or improve it drastically. And um, them goats nearly bit my hands off. I know. <laughs> but of course, it's been nice to get down here. And, and like I said various times throughout this video, coming to this park that is, is owned by John Broom, it, it's been fantastic really for someone that's always had a love for Alton Towers and a passion for the history of Alton Towers to come to here know that he's still going strong 40 years old Alton Towers this year being a theme park and he's still going strong and he's just bought this place a few yeah. years back find it amazing what an inspirational guy I'd love to meet him and the fact he's still going all these years on and you know he, he wants to try and build the theme park you know and he's still going here at Camel Creek so we'll be following the future developments from doing a bit of research throughout the day seems like they really want to try and grow this into a resort and put lots of accommodation in and of course you know it's a lovely location for it but is there the money there is the investment for it I've seen some concepts art online today and it seems like it's pretty a new thing for them obviously now COVID-19 has come along I imagine that's going to put a bit of a dampener on their Pushing plans that. but we'll see what happens there's rumors of them getting some sort of suspended coaster like charlotte saw um it is there on on the logo on some of the logos that are here and um, like a family suspended coaster yeah. so let's see if it happens if that does open i'll probably come back down here in the soon really to come and ride it, it might be next year maybe it'll get pushed back or who knows but who knows? thanks for joining us for another hey. vlog here on theme park worldwide uh, the next vlog coming up tomorrow we're actually going to be heading to the milky way and yeah. um, so that'll be our next park i went there two years ago uh, they've got an indoor coaster that was brilliant um, and I'm looking forward to getting back on that because it's had a re-theme it's had an upgrade and Charlotte I don't think you've been before I don't think so I don't 100% remember if I have or not maybe when we get there you'll remember yeah, it maybe. if you did come on as, uh, as a kid when you uh, came down here on holiday but we're going to be heading there to the Milky Way two parks tomorrow then we're going to the Big Sheep uh, to end this little trip so sheep. we're heading to the Big Sheep as well tomorrow where we'll get some goats so two vlogs coming up over the next couple of days here on Theme Park World wide thanks for joining us here for our first ever visit to camel creek adventure park and that means it's time to cue those credits Bye. see you at the milky way